sorry, Zach. I don't know what happened, but uh, your assignment sort of collapsed. And I'm trying to see from your key poses what happened because you've got a standing. Here it appears that somehow you pulled your leg out too far and too far up. So I'm going to go through and correct your keyframes again. You did fine when you first submitted them. Somehow things changed, and I don't know why. You got to remember that when the legs are far apart, the body is lower. So let's put the foot here lower. So we need to correct your key poses first. Body's up, which is good, and it's leaning over the leg with the weight, which is awesome. Here, you got them far apart, but you forgot to bring the body down. So, oh, and that knee is now facing backwards. So remember that the knee follows this little guy, this pointer. So I'm fixing that key pose. And now it's up again, which is good. So down. Maybe a little further up. Okay. And somehow something happened here. So if I didn't catch this in your key poses, I apologize, but this is what I was trying to guard against people doing. Um, you've got this far away from your foot somehow. So. Okay, we got the poses better now. Now let's look at your keyframes. Whoops. Sorry about that. View, frame all. Okay. You've got something way out here. So I see that you may even maybe had some trouble with assignment. First thing I see here is that you are also coming from these. You're probably going to this, which is wrong. You need to be going to this. This is your clamped or spline. You can use either of these. They give you a slightly different curve. Clamped is actually a little bit better. So when you get to your clamp and your left foot control, then you should be looking at your translate Y. Because this is your bouncing ball. And you're going to hit the floor. Right? And I'm going to go panel, orthographic side. Okay, it's never laying flat, which is a problem. It could be because you pulled your foot so far away from it. You had some sort of problem where you pulled it away from the foot and some, some, somehow changed your control. So if you can get it as close as possible, and then I'm going to put it down at this point. Yeah. Oh, I see. You have your rotation on when it shouldn't be. Or something. Something is screwing up your... I'm going to take it down to zero. And then maybe we can pull it back. Still have something. Alright, so that gives us back your foot a bit. No, nope, everything keeps going back. Okay, let's fix that. And then I'm going to have to keyframe it to set those values. And now I need to see if that fixed your foot. It did. See that? You had a whole bunch of values going, so you lost control of the foot. There, then, um, now your foot's not touching the ground. So we need to watch out for that. Okay, I don't want to see you doing that again on your next assignment. I'm not going to make you redo it now, but I should. Um, but you got to watch all the extra stuff you're putting on your toe there. I'm going to put S. And does it touch down again? No. So, see that? It's now going to really affect this foot. Why isn't it flat there? There we go. It's too high. There you go. See how that f fixed the foot? So from now on, don't make that mistake. Rem uh, zero out anything. If you get separated like that, remember to zero out all the stuff that was going on in your foot. Because that will mess you up.
then correct the foot. Whoa, see, and that stuff, This you, you may have experienced this, that all these rotations were going on because they had to be re-keyed. So you, you hit something that's kind of challenging for beginners, but this will, <laughs> this will certainly help you to experience these challenges. At this point in your career, because then you'll you'll be easier able to uh, troubleshoot. So then you're going to place that down somewhere. And of course, this is far apart, so these need to be far apart. Then you can put in your toe roll and all that. Okie dokie. So you did really well. You just hit a problem you didn't know how to solve yet. Write to me when something like ha that happens, and I'll help you because I want to help you figure out your problem solving skills. You're not doing something. Bad, you're doing typical mistakes when that stuff happens. So I'm going to put that in for you too. All right, now let's see if this makes any difference. See that? Huge difference. This thing is still sticking out too far because uh, it's. This has to be fixed. You know, put closer to the. You know, you got to take all that mess off of it again. But it's much better. Okay? So I see you, you grasped it, but now you also need to be going in there. In doing some editing on the important things like your wide translate, this should be looking like a bouncing ball because it's force versus float versus gravity. You get that? So see me for some extra help and we'll, we'll, we'll get you going. Don't make these mistakes in your next assignment, okay?